guys. If you've been watching my last video, the last video I did a uh, bootloader upgrade for my ANET E10, and I'm actually using uh, firmware from TH3D. Uh, seems like a pretty smart guy. And <clears throat> okay, so this is the full package. I've already downloaded it already. Uh, watch my bootloader video if you need to do a bootloader. And uh, let me go back and show you if, to get to this environment. So you need to first go back to where you downloaded the package. In that folder is an open firmware Windows bat. Once you've already unzipped the guys the package, and actually that will bring up this uh, Adorno uh, ID environment. But uh, yeah, it's pretty basic from here. I mean, you can get a plug in your printer. Um, there's nothing on my LCD screen because I totally uh, wiped out the firmware when I loaded the bootloader. So now I need to upload firmware. And for me, the, the reason why I'm uploading the firmware is for uh, I'm doing a custom auto bed leveling with a capacitive sensor and a BL touch. I'm going to be messing with both those to see how they work. And also I want to possibly upgrade to a, uh, which I already have, a E3D hot end. But, uh, all right, so the most important file here is this configuration.h file. And for me, I'm running an ANET E10. This guy makes it really, really simple. You know, step-by-step -step instruction. So, um, yeah, actually, I was a full-time programmer in the late 90s and early 1000s, so this I'm pretty familiar with this stuff. Uh, at least looking at code like this, configuration H files. All right, so for this one here, I need Uncommon Out, which I've already done, the ANET E10. And if you had like an easy able, you could do that. But I'm not going to mess with the uh, bed leveling yet. I'm just going to get the firmware on there, kind of mess with that. And I'm trying to go through this guy's instructions and see if uh, I can get this to work. So, yeah, so basically when you when you uncomment something like this, this loads a bunch of variables into the system, which will tell Marlin how to control this printer. So there's already predefined variables. I'm sure in one of these configuration files that tells us Here's the enable this variable. Here are all the options for that variable. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to upload this, this firmware and get it going. All right, guys. So I got an error up here and I forgot to define an LCD. So I got to uncomment that out. And I also just realized that I forgot to tell you guys how to uh, upload it. So once you're done with that, see this little arrow key going this way? Hit the upload button. And uh, that's it. So hopefully this goes, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to compile the software and then try to upload it. So let's see what happens. Cool. All right, guys, looks like it's done. So it says AVR do done. Thank you. That's cool. So I'm going to come back with my video camera and show you what I got going. And hopefully I get something on my uh, screen here real quick. All right. All right. Well, this is what you didn't see on camera. So I had my USB connected to it and I had this thing up and up. And uh, it booted itself. Huh, cool. A couple seconds ago, I just hit the bootloader on there. It wouldn't even did it didn't even uh, head on there. So let me uh, turn this power off. I'm gonna be careful here. Plug this. I'm gonna move this around so maybe you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, remember, this is this is live 110 wires here. So maybe with this this angle, I, you might be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna. Plug it back in. Get the plug to go. All right. I'll turn the camera sideways. Hopefully, you can see it better. Let's see what's up. First time ever, he, uh, ever uploaded some firmware on uh, T3D. All right, we're looking good. Marlin. Well, it's a custom version of Marlin. Awesome, so then he said go back, uh, hold on one second. Alright, so I'm trying to do this sideways and hopefully you can see this. So, in his instructions he says, I got to control, I gotta clear the uh, G code settings and initialize EEPROM. Yes. And that's it, that should clear the G code settings. <coughs> Not bad, this guy made it pretty easy, so all the credit goes to uh, TH3D, but I guess from here on out I want to learn how to, uh, the reason why I was doing this to begin with was to mess with the auto bed leveling on my ANET printer here, and uh, I also have a BL Touch coming in, so I want to mess with that too, and a uh, E3D uh, V6 hot end I'm going to put on this uh, right here.
So, awesome guys, cool. Not so hard. I mean, pretty. It only took me uh, to do the bootloader and the uh, flash, probably about 30 minutes. Actually, it took me it took me longer to film the video. <laughs> All right, cool.